Hi, I'm Joy Harris, a Florida home economist, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make baked grouper. It's such a simple recipe to prepare. Now start with grouper fillets that are about one inch thick. Grouper is a lean fish, so if you want to substitute another lean fish in the, this recipe, it should work very well. Fatty fish are fish like mackerel and snapper, and those, those are better for smoking. But for a light baked dish, a lean fish is perfect. So take the grouper. This is about an inch thick. I have a couple of fillets here. Now these were frozen grouper fillets, and I thawed them out completely for the recipe, and I'm just coating them in butter. Fresh grouper would be great if you have it, but if not, Frozen fish is usually frozen on the ship right after they catch it, and so uh, you're going to be guaranteed a, a pretty fresh fish. If it has a really strong fishy odor to it, then you'll know it's not that fresh, but you can't even smell, you can barely smell the ocean on these, so that's just the way that you want them. Now, in here, I melted a tablespoon of butter in the microwave, and this is the dish I'm going to bake them in as well. Make sure that you, you can see one side is a little bit darker than the other. Bake them with the dark side down. And here too, there's a little bit more fattiness on this side. So bake them with the dark side down. And um, if you push them together, you have to cook them a little bit longer. Spread them apart. And the rule of thumb for cooking fish is about 10 minutes per inch. So the next thing that you want to do is add about a tablespoon of orange juice. So I'm just gonna cut this orange in half. A nice Florida orange to go with nice Florida grouper and then just squeeze about a tablespoon of juice on here and these are very juicy oranges and you might want to be tempted to squeeze more but if you want more orange flavor all you have to do is add some orange zest and by adding a little zest to the fish it's going to give you more of an orange flavor uh, if you just add more orange juice to it, you're going to end up steaming the fish rather than baking it. And although it's going to be baked covered and it's close to a steam, it might even be more like poaching if you get too much liquid in there. But you can see here how pretty this orange zest is. And so you just put that right on the fish. That'll give it a nice citrusy flavor. And then sprinkle it with a little bit of salt. And of course, sea salt works very well here. Not too much some fresh pepper, and then top it with a little Parmesan cheese, about one tablespoon per size or per portion. And then cover it with foil, and this goes into a 450 degree oven. That's a pretty hot oven, but it only cooks for 10 minutes. Now, after 10 minutes of cooking, you want to check and see if it's done. The way to tell if a fish is done is if it flakes easily with a fork. And here I have baked grouper, and you can tell that it's done because when I flake it with a fork, see how easily that pulls apart? This is so easy to make. And another option is to top it with uh, cheddar cheese, which I've done here, and you have baked grouper au gratin. So that's really two recipes in one. It's so simple to make. I know you can do it. It's baked grouper. I'm Joy Harris, and that's how you make baked grouper. Mm -hmm.